The challenge of climate change is a challenge of changing human behaviour. At the intersection of people and technology, design can have a major impact and help us towards net zero. We know that electric vehicles are going to be part of the solution, but we also know that for electric vehicles to be successful, we need a great charging infrastructure. This is going to be on the streets, in residential areas, in commercial areas, across the country. And we need to get it right, but we also have to make sure it works, it's reliable, and that people can really depend on this infrastructure, because without that combination of aesthetics and dependency, it just will not be a successful rollout. We wanted to create a recognisable and distinctive British charge point for electric vehicles. Design at the top level is about problem solving. At PA, design is embedded in our end-to-end -end innovation process. We do this because special things happen when you connect designers with engineers and technologists. The design we took forward has a beautifully designed circular handset which sits proud of the base and consumers loved for its ease of use and distinctiveness. The end product needed to be functional, inclusive, sustainable, adaptable, affordable, and finally, arguably most importantly for behavioural change, people had to love it. User research is absolutely critical to this project. Um, we took a human-centred design approach, which has meant that we gathered raw insight from real people, users and non-users, to ensure that we were understanding people's needs and frustrations, such that it gave us the sort of seed capital to come up with great ideas to take forward. The needs of consumers is important, but also the needs of charge point operators is important too. The design needs to accommodate the installation and the upgrade, as well as the kind of constant maintenance of these charge points. PA's partnership with the RCA has been fantastic. The RCA are focused on service design, enabling us to go beyond just thinking about the product itself, but thinking about the entire end-to-end -end user experience. Service design looks at the ecosystem around that object, the experience of electric vehicle owners, the experience of people on the street. For me, great design always does the job, but it does it with perhaps wit and certainly human empathy. I've really enjoyed working with PA Consulting because they bring such a wide range of expertise to be able to talk to their engineers and their material specialists. But the design aspect of PA has been able to take a very holistic approach. But I honestly don't think there's anyone else in the world that could have combined all the elements that PA have got to create such a compelling design and a compelling story. I'm delighted that Design Council was involved in this project and, and invited to be on the steering board. I've been incredibly impressed with the team in terms of getting their heads around making this really hit that point of utility and joy. There's going to be a lot of these things on our streets and, and in our environment. So it's got to balance being visible with not being too obtrusive. We've got to live with these things. That's a hard balance to achieve. One of our challenges was to create a British iconic design, which is no small challenge. We ended up with a number of antagonisms to provoke and inspire the design team to move forward with lots of different directions about what it means to be British iconic. We have always had a concern about our streets, how they look, how they feel, how they work. All sorts of different sets of circumstances from a rural village to a town centre, from places with driveways to places with lots of street parking. Because we've got to do this, we know we've got to do this. But I think most of all we can help local authorities think about this when they're planning the rollout over big areas of historic towns for example and you know how it's fit for purpose and that kind of thing. This is a transition and we will make sure to keep having the conversations with local authorities, accessibility groups, landowners and consumers going forward and work with all of the stakeholders in this superb project. What's particularly exciting for me to be at COP26 with this incredible new design is to be there with an audience of scientists, of environmental experts, of politicians, of people from every country in the world and we will be able to show how we can form and shape and design our world. We often see the world as just science, which of course is a huge part of this, but we need to take people on a journey and we need to make those decisions and design better, design more carefully and design for a future sustainable world. This is just the start. Design has a critical role to play as we transition to a net zero future.